Hello summoners and summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you a Gragas top lane game. So as always, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Picking up the D-Ring, double health potion, as well as that warding totem. And hi, I'm Gordon, Gluck, have fun coming out. I believe I'm against a Lee Sin top. It could be AD Tristana top, but I honestly think it's Lee Sin. And he did bring the extra offensive summoner spell, that be it the Ignite. And while I actually went for teleport, so... He definitely has a lot more kill pressure in lane. His season six Master Chef on. Well. All right, so more than likely, I'll just be trying to farm it out a little bit here. Actually, if that is an AD Trist on a middle and not AP, it's actually really good for me because I can just buy Zonias and be pretty much unkillable this game because they'll have all AD. And Gragas already in itself, he's an AP bruiser now. Where you see him building things like Rod of Ages first item, and then they go. You could go either tanky from there, or you could just go straight up Assassin Stone by things like Lich Bane, which is phenomenal on Gragas because it synergizes super well with your Drunken Rage. You get that Lich Bane proc as well as the Drunken Rage proc. A lot of damage on there, and you could just build other things like Zonia's Void Staff. Still do a whole bunch of damage. Let's actually take a look and see if she has any AP. Okay, it is AP Tristana, so. Zonia still isn't a bad item, but if she was, if that was AD just on a hill, I would rush second item Zonia's. Gonna go ahead and just throw the barrel down here and try and start to shove the wave pretty hard here against Leeson. Actually missed a uh, creep by accident there because it kind of walked out of my barrel's range. But the whole point of me putting the barrel where I do is because it actually is going to zone Leeson from getting some of the CS here. And actually did take just a little bit of damage there, but uh, nothing too bad. Lee Sin, still level 1, and I'm going to try and shove as fast as I can, kill this last minion, and get level 2. There it is. Beautiful. We're shoving incredibly hard here, but gonna go ahead and uh, get the CS here. And now we'll go ahead and drop the ward here, because we do know that the enemy jungler is actually going to be nearby, because... I just realized I don't have Ignite. I should be able to get out of here fine as long as I dodge the Q. Okay, so we got his Ignite out and we actually survived. So overall, that's actually really not bad for us. And we do have that teleport over the Lee Sin, so we can definitely come back to lane with rather ease here. Did take just a little bit of damage there, but nothing too bad. He actually didn't use his ward just yet, so we might be able to bait him in here. We'll see if we can get the... Ally Lee Sin. There he is. And he does connect the Q, and he might be able to get out of there. It looks like he will get out, but that just relieves pressure on me here. Wow, I'm missing all this sis. That just removes pressure, like I said, and gives me the opportunity to kind of safely CS now. Kind of slam dunk that creep. And there's Greg. <laughs> I'm Greg. There's Lee Sin. Gonna go ahead and bop him with that Q. Just keep him whittled down here. And our Lee Sin trying to come with a follow-up gank here. Oh, the Qs connect! Flash. Oh, might get him. No, he actually gets out. Didn't have enough mana for it. That stinks. If I had body slam mana, would have been able to pick up that kill. Potentially with the flash body slam. But he ends up getting out of there with his life, unfortunately. But we do force him back here. And now I get to safely shove the wave with uh, my barrels here. And we'll just go ahead and body slam, get that wave out of here. Oh, there's actually one wave left. And it's a siege wave. This is so incredibly greedy by me, but I'm going to go for it. I want to try and get a siege denial onto Lee Sin here. Real. <laughs> I keep missing CS that I shouldn't be missing. Alright, so Lee Sin's going to be coming back to lane any second now. Really? Okay, well, whatever. I get to go back now, and I have teleport, so I can easily get back into the lane here. What has he got? A longsword. Alright, not too bad. Rod, where are you? There you are. Alright, I'm actually going to buy another Doran's Ring. Just because I want the extra health for potential brawling in this top lane here. And if he doesn't shove too hard, I'm actually going to elect to save my teleport. Which it looks like he's actually doing a pretty good job of freezing it here, so... I'm going to save my teleport. I'm already halfway back to lane. Might as well hold on to it. But 23 to 17 is the CS score right now. The uh, Lee Sin definitely gave me some good pressure. 
kind of allowed me to survive the really early aggression that Lee Sin was putting on me. And now I actually see advantages because of it. I don't have any health potions, which kind of stinks. But uh, right now we're in a we're in a good situation. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that one creep. Maxing our Q here just because that is your main source of wave clear as well as poke in lane. Ooh, first blood coming out for the enemy team. That's not what we wanted to see. At least we do get a return kill though. So overall, not too bad. They do just get that first blood bonus. Gonna go ahead and body slam into Gragas and then dunk him there with the auto attack. It's a really easy way to get off guaranteed damage is if you body slam they're knocked up just for enough time where you can actually cast your auto attack animation off your drunken rage and pop them and normally they can't even retaliate so it's an easy way to just get free damage off to them. should be able to clear this wave with a Q there it is very nice ooh double kill coming out for the bot lane there though that's not good all right, Lisa, let's do some fighting here. I got my ult on level six, looking good for us. Just keep poking them down with the Qs here. And we actually have decent mana regen now with the double Doran's rings as well. If he comes in for this minion, we'll hit him up. All right, looks like we got that Q, very nice. Just free damage that's gonna hit him here. That creep should live. Uh, yes, it will, nice. And while he's gone, we'll just go ahead and pop our passive with that W healing up. Just staying healthy all times while he's gone. And he did just go back Lee B. Letting my team know that Lee Sin actually did just go back. And I'm just going to last hit here. and Because it's actually shoving towards me. So I'm able to actually freeze land here and kind of deny him some potential gold and XP. And then when he comes back, if he chooses to be really aggressive, I can just go back and actually teleport back to lane and have that. So yep, this will actually still continue to freeze if I play it right here. So that's really nice for me. And all of their range minions are focusing really well, so they continue to shove really hard actually. Lee Sin, he comes back with a lot or a vamp scepter, whatever the hell that item is. And now he's starting the hard shove here, so I'm going to go ahead and just potentially bop the wave here. Come at me. Whoa. Ooh. That was actually a really good chunk of damage down on the Lee Sin for free. So I could potentially kill him here, even though I don't have Ignite, which is a really good spot for me to be in. So he does have the Vamp Vampire Acceptor. Uh, sustain, but it's nothing compared to Gragas passive sustain. My passive is just so huge And I accidentally ruined that creep, but uh, what I wanted to do was keep the wave alive to the last second that way I can actually Force the wave a little bit pushed in my favor here And Lee Sin, what are you gonna do? He's just guaranteeing himself to get hit by barrel tosses by actually activating his Qs there, so I really can't complain if he wants to take free damage. If he comes up for this creep... Ah, damn, it died. <laughs> if that creep didn't die and he actually activated his uh, Q and it lived... Whoa, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was going to try and bait Lee in and then ult him, but apparently was not ready for that. Alright. Gonna go ahead and just continue the last hit here. Leeson now knows that our Leeson is not in the lane. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of damage here. Nothing too big. And he does end up missing that. I missed the Siege minion, that's kind of sad. Our lanes are getting destroyed though. I hope they can stop dying potentially here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. That was greedy of me and I actually just missed a creep because of that. So pretty dumb play by me. Activate it. Alright, I might have just killed Lee Sin, forced his flash, and gonna go ahead and Q. He's super low. If I had more mana I would have definitely killed him there. But uh, I'm not sure what's going on with my team here man. Hopefully they can control themselves a little bit and stop the death. But uh, we do just get rid of Lee Sin's flash. I'll be able to get out of that, no problem. Just a little easy gank by Xin Zhao there. I'm gonna stay and just wait for my Q to come up and I'll just clear the wave, no problem. Just gonna auto you, auto you, and then you should all die to the barrel. There we go, wonderful. And now I'm out. So we have a ton of CS lead. 
I believe, over this Lee Sin. He's at 57, I'm at 74, so that's very, very good for us. And we'll go ahead and pick up the Catalyst of the Protector, and then we'll get Boots of Speed and a Ward and some potions as well. Lee Sin actually didn't go back, and it's a Siege Wave, so it's going to force my Teleport so I don't miss this. But uh, now I come back to lane here, and we can potentially shove faster than he can actually get back to lane. So we could deny him a wave of creep here. Maybe even just stop his back. Oh, that's beautiful. So now he's forced to stay in lane. I have about 800 gold more value in items than he does because he didn't get to spend. And now he's forced to stay and we can just bully him and make him miss us under the tower here. If not, just kill him. So the fact that I was able to stall his back there was absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss my barrel here. And this forces Lee Sin into a compromising position where he has to kind of change his pathing to actually get the last hits on the minions here. So that's gonna die. And now I gotta pick up the CS here with autos. Gonna go ahead and actually eat that Q just so he can't use it on the minions. And if he wants to get these minions, he's going to have to go in for him. Oh, I played that wrong. I was going to try and body slam him into my uh, grab here, actually. I'm going to get kicked into the turret. Not that big of an issue. I missed. I'm going to die here, I think. Oh my god, I missed everything. I play that so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, no words, man. That was, that was hard to watch. Uh, I missed my body slam. If I hit my body slam, I would have killed him. Because I would have got the Q off and the W auto. And I think I autoed a freaking minion as well. Oh, that was so bad. I suck at this game. Alright, we just lost all the advantage that we had stored up in that lane. So, Leeson's going to be a big issue now. Oh, I'm like face palming so hard, IRL, man. 5 to 9 is the score right now. And we're 0 one Not looking too good for us, but hopefully we can make something of it. Alright, let's see here. Oh, nice. Connected in the mid lane. Oh, tried to insect her. I think he just saved her life. Because she had a pretty nice flash out. And Cassiope actually goes really hard for that kill and doesn't come up with it. So that's really unfortunate. I'm coming. Oh, you're dead. Rip. Yeah, that stinks. Looks like it's going to be four of them mid here with none of us left to try and defend. I'm coming. Hopefully I can get in range to just clear the wave with a Q here. That's all we really need. Alright, I think we'll be able to save it. Very nice. Not bad. Tower still, tower still lives, so that's a bonus. But our top turret... That might be a different story here. Alright, Thresh, not sure what you... Oh, nice, you sidestepped it. Should live. Okay, had to flash out. Not too bad. Lee Sin's here. He does have his... Whatever it's called. Tiamat. That item. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot that. Wow, my base AD is so low. So low. Alright, we got the wave. Not bad. Why are people dying everywhere? What is going on? I don't understand. Alright. So, gonna go ahead and just roam down mid. See if we can pick up a scrap kill on any of them. Be it the Thresh or Tristana. There's Thresh, where's Tristana? I see Tristana now. Looks like we're gonna pick up the kill on Thresh. We do indeed. Gonna come in for the Tristana here. I actually steal the kill. No! He kicked... <laughs> Ah, uh, no! I think we got him still, but that's super awkward. Okay, we get the double kill. He kicked him out of my ult. Ugh. That was almost so bad. <laughs> Lucky we got that pickup kill. And I got the double kill, so I can go back now for my Rod of Ages. But for now, we're actually just going to push this mid lane and see if we can take one, if not two turrets. Going to go ahead and ping. Hey, guys, let's get some damage on this second turret here. Because we do have the members up and available. Oops, little body slam there. Okay, we should actually be able to take this turret here, I believe. So, there's the lantern coming in, but, uh... 
Should be able to get out of here. Oh, he ate my body slam. That's super awkward. Ooh, thank you. Nice, Thresh. Oh, now I bet you she wishes she had. <laughs> That's just thought I actually pushed the Cassiopeia farther away because of how chain mechanics work. That was broken. All right, League of Legends. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss a barrel in the bot lane here to try and clear the wave so Lucian can't take the whole wave here, or whole turret. Just charging it up. Gonna go ahead and let that tick down. Pop it, and then we'll body slam to get the wave there. Oh, what is going on here? I guess we caught Lucian out. So that's good. No way, does he get out? Oh my goodness, he gets out. And they're gonna take Dragon. That was a good lantern. Alright, going back now, gonna get these stacks going on my Rod of Ages. It's a little late. Actually, it's kind of a lot late compared to when I would want to get it. But better late than never. That's not even the phrase. <laughs> Whatever. But I actually go ahead and pick up Aether Wisp instead of Sheen, just because I had enough money for the Aether Wisp at this time. And you always want to buy the power spike that you have available to you. This is going to be a really nice teleport. Going to go ahead and just kill the Thresh there. Going to go ahead and try and slow Lucian. I don't end up hitting it. Leeson does die. And we'll see if we can pick up any other kills here. Lucian, I think we'll be able to get him here, actually. Going to go ahead and body slam him into... Oh, he flashed my ult combo, but he still died. So, I guess he flashed for no reason. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. It was all a ruse. And I'm just a genius. Alright, gonna go ahead and toss the Q out there, get those creep. And then we'll go bottom. It looks like there's a pretty big wave there. But that was a pretty good teleport, because I saw Leeson was motioning that he wanted to kind of dive there, Leeson. Because he was pretty far deep. He was almost at our inhib turret. And then Thresh engaged right as I teleported in, and that kind of threw him off guard. So that can definitely bring us back into the game, hopefully. And I'm going to toss out a Q here, try and thin out this wave. Boom. There you go. And we'll W. I see Thresh here, and I don't believe anyone else is with him. But I'll go back now. I'll pick up the Sork Shoes for some more utility and mid-game penetration. And always just want to spend the biggest gold that you can purchase at the time. Don't have enough for Sheen. Sheen definitely need to get that next item though because that'll just add so much damage to my W here when I activate it. And it looks like we just kind of swapped lanes this game. Everything's a little crazy here. Oop, that's not going to be an insect. That could be an insect though. Oh, what a shot. Nice insect. I think our Tristana should live. That was a wonderful play. Alright, going ahead and dodging that hook. That would have sucked if I got hit by that. And we're just here to wave clear. We are not trying to do anything else but wave clear. So we're going to go ahead and toss out the Q here. That'll go ahead and connect. And actually, Gragas, or Thresh, going to go ahead and throw him back under the turret here and bop him. There's a free kill. Thresh actually took that kill, but it's not a big deal to me. And there's that. Going to go ahead and try and get some CS here while we're at it. And that was just a simple case of them trying to dive a target. You should not dive. It's super greedy to dive a Gragas. And that was super greedy by Thresh to do that. Peace, he says. Yeah, peace indeed. All right, I think we could kill this kid if Leeson happens to come down, but it doesn't look like he is. I'm not sure why Thresh kind of kept chasing that. We got a hard advantage, and then he kind of threw it away by giving a kill to that Lucian, but whatever. I'm 3-1-2 now, so having a little bit better of a game. Still missing ton of vaults, but then again, not every miss has been my fault. We've had people flash it, and we've had Lee Sin ult people out of my ult, so it's actually a interesting team to try and hit good Gragas ults. You have Tristana jumping around, Thresh Lanterns, you can get a lot of stuff to displace them out of me hitting my ult. I think I'm dead here, actually. Now we're out. Okay, he missed his hook. That's pretty big. If he had hit that hook, I might have been in trouble and might have had to burn a flash. I'm not sure why this guy's chasing me so hard. I do a lot of damage, so... I actually have my ult available to me. I could potentially kill him here, because I think Lee Sin... Or Lee Sin Lucian left him. But he ended up not. He just was kind of somewhere I don't know. I do see Lee Sin off to the side, so I am wary of that, and I'm going to respect that. And I'm just not going to die to it. Okay, Thresh. 
Thank you. Pop your Shirley, and then I just take the lance now. I don't even have to body slam. I get to save my mana. And because they show three down here, it actually allows Cassiopeia to shove that top lane incredibly hard. I'm going to go ahead and engage on the Thresh here. Stun him up. He's going to go over the wall, still get connected, and our Thresh takes yet another kill here. I'm going to go ahead and actually body slam and flash here. And that'll knock both of them up. And then we'll go ahead and try and execute Lucian here with our ultimate. There it is. What a great play there, picking up the kill on a Lucian. And it looks like we might even get Lee Sin. There it is. Tristana's pushing mid lane. We do lose one tower, but we're going to get a tower out of this and a double kill. That was pretty big to bring us back into that game there. So what I did there was, you. it's a pretty simple uh, combination that most people know. So you just cast your animation for your body slam, and then just before it runs out, you flash to wherever you want to go. And that will actually... Uh, finish the animation and knock everyone up and deal the damage right where you flash. So it's a pretty easy way to extend your flash range or kind of make it really hard for them to react to in juke. So our red buff is up. It's kind of weird that I'm going to be taking this because I already have one, but at this point I'm just kind of doing it to get it off the map and put it on cooldown just so the enemy team doesn't take it. Because more than likely they could definitely just press and try and take that with two people being dead now and them having the map pressure of both towers down there. I'm gonna go ahead and <coughs> sneeze <coughs> twice and uh, hopefully just call it the end of that. I'm here, we can potentially outplay this here. I'm gonna go ahead and body slam both of them and we'll go ahead and almost pop the uh, Zoom Gao there. It's gonna pop this Thresh though, there's one kill and if my ult had just barely been off cooldown, definitely would have killed him there, but he wasn't, or it wasn't. But we'll see if we can just maybe get a greedy greedy play out of the Zin out here and toss my ult on him and kill him. But we do toss it in and hit the leash in here, and that forces the flash out of him and the leash in, I believe. That was weird. <laughs> the backwards cooling, though, the BM. Alright, so that'll uh, allow us to get mid T2 as well as more than likely a dragon here. So, really good stuff there. Just showing some aggression at a good time to show aggression. And I'm gonna go bottom while they take dragon. I got my barrel doing damage on that. And then I'm just gonna clear out this wave here. And we will charge that up. See you, nerds. And we'll clear out this wave and then go back and pick up a Lich Bane here, which, like I said at the start of the video, is just a huge pickup for your Gragas, because you can apply it very well with your Drunken Rage here. And I need to run all the way away, because Lee Sin's going to be rude and chase me. Okay, I think we're safe to back here. So hopefully, okay, Cassiopeia's fine. Oh, we are not safe to back here. Hello, goodbye. And we'll see, just have to sidestep that, not a big issue. And I can go back now. Tristana will be able to clear the wave with Static Shiv. I'm not worried about that. Oh, nice kick over to that Tristana. Might be able to pick her up. Ah, uh, jerk. Stop being rude. I just want to back, homie. Oh, she lived with like two health. Forces flash for flash. Not bad. This Thresh is pissing me off. I just want to back, my good sir. Yeah, well, I'm not sure why you're here with me. <laughs> We're not doing anything. We're just losing top. You could be supporting other people. So I go back, pick up Lich Bane here. That's not Lich Bane. That's Lich Bane. All right, and then we will actually pick up a Cloth Armor component of Seeker's Arm Guard here. We're going to build a Zonies now because more than likely we're going to be taking damage from AD here. All right, got to go mid lane and look to uh, clear the wave here. Do it. Uh, puss. I wanted him to charge in on me. Oh, that hook was so close to connecting. Tristana's not here. We could actually get a pick on them here. Don't have my flash for flash body slam combo, but had a potential to get a pick there. All right, I'm just going to toss my Q at this wave. And then body slam to finish it off here, and we'll auto you, pick you up. Our blue buff is up, Cassiopeia is in the top lane. Okay, she's pinging it, so it looks like she does want to try and come get it. I want to intercept this guy and do a whole bunch of damage to this guy. More than likely going to go ahead and actually kill him here. Going to knock back Leeson as well as kill the Thresh there. There's two easy pickup kills for our team here. 
Very nice. And looks like we're chasing. I don't have enough health to want to be chasing here. So I'm just going to do blue buff here while we wait. So I take the blue buff. And that was actually a four for one exchange for us. Very nicely done. And that was just the case of I knew I had a whole bunch of damage on me. And I knew that Thresh was actually wicked out of position there. So I just engaged on him. Instantly blew him up. Kind of baited his team in as well. I'm going to get one last wave here, and yes, <laughs> that's just taking a whole bunch of kills, but it doesn't really matter in the end. As long as they die, man, you can't really complain about a KS. Alright, I'm actually messing up a lot of this creep for no reason. Alright, we'll bop you. Very nice, very nice. So, good map pressure for us. I think oh, we didn't get too much damage done, but just the 4 for 1 overall, that's fantastic for the team. I'm going to sell my Doran's Ring and actually pick up a needlessly large rod because that's way more valid to me, valuable to me than rather spending, say, eight or 900 gold on that Seeker's Arm Guard. Tristana did get caught, so that's super bad for us because they could potentially rush this Baron here. But it looks like they won't. Oh, they could. And are they is the question. They are indeed hitting it. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here. I have a ward. Thresh should have a ward. I might be able to just pick up kills here on them so I'm gonna try it right here and we'll go ahead and toss in the Q and then we'll body slam we'll actually just throw the alt in on Xin Zhao and actually pick up the kill on Xin Zhao and we can keep fighting this I'm gonna do a ton of damage they're still tanking Baron and now we need to get away because Lucian showed up but we're alive now and nice grab onto Lucian that should be a kill for us and we can maybe just take the Baron at this point I have TP, so I could come back and help the team out, but it looks like we are just going to get that Baron now. So, a little throw out of the enemy team. Okay, a bigger throw by us for chasing. Why chase? And now we're kind of chunked from doing this. Eh. Yeah, we could have easily got free Baron, but at least we killed Thresh, so whatever. Not too bad overall. Eh, we'll wait on that. I would like to pick that up, but I don't want to sell my other Deering to pick that up. I'm going bot, have TP, 518 is my score, 26 to 22, boy did we turn this game around, it was looking super sour for us early on in the game with bot lane and myself losing, so good job by the team to kind of stick with it there, and what a turnaround for me personally, like, ugh, starting 010, now I'm 518, that's pretty big, <clears throat> I think I could solo anyone who comes to try and push this bot lane here and the fact that FTP is really really useful for me I don't think he saw me and he's dashes on cooldown so that's a free kill for me very nice I snuck in that bush there right when he used his gap closer to actually get to those golems and that was just a free sign for me to go yo he just used his gap closer I can 100% you I'm full damage Gragas at this point see you later nerd now I have teleport and one's off the map. That's free Baron pressure for us. For us, we should be doing Baron right now, in my opinion. And if they try and stop you, I teleport up. And if they don't, I get free towers or we get free Baron. We just have a lot of options now with the map pressure that we have. We should be pressing pretty hard on them. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my Lich Bane here with my Drunken Mage. Boom, just hits down the tower here. We'll throw out a Q so we get that Lich Bane proc again. Boom, smack in the tower. Just every time you can, you activate that Lich Bane and you smack the turret. Lucian actually coming back to lane and calling the wave here, but look, he's bot lane now. I have TP, I have the abilities. I'm gonna go ahead and TP right here. Not sure if that was actually even a good CP or not, but now we can just do Baron free to our discretion here, which we should be doing. I just teleported, Lucian was down in the bot lane, so now we have the man advantage. And we should just be hitting this and bursting it down here. And if they do come, we can easily just kill them, honestly. But it looks like we're actually going to get this for free. Thresh was chunked. I don't know Zinjao's health, but we have really great wolf coverage right now. And they're nowhere near, so more than likely, that is that free Baron for us. I'm going to go ahead and just go over the wall and stop them from pushing this mid lane. So we do have enough money for a Zonius as well, so that's a really good pickup for us. Considering majority of them are AD, like I've said probably a gajillion times this video. And they're getting Dragon, but whatever. Baron for Dragon. Always worth for the side on Baron. 
And now after picking this up, we will go for a Randoin's Omen here because now you don't really need any more damage than what you got on Gragas. You need max three offensive items. Four, honestly, it's kind of killing it. I don't see a need for Void Staff right now. They have zero MR built besides a Merc Treads and the uh, Aegis. So not enough MR for me to actually need that Void Staff. And then Randoin's Omen, it's just going to be really good on Gragas. It helps you with your passive, get even more health, and then the fact that majority of them are AD, just, I, I'm gonna be unkillable once I get that item. So now we're just shoving. I don't have my teleport up, but not a big deal to me. I'm pretty confident that I can still 1v1 anyone, and with this Baron buff, I'll just have tons of regen. I'm creating pressure. You all go mid or top. No, 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 no. don't come with me. I'm yeah, I'm splitting. Like, that's the point of a split pusher with teleport. You don't follow them. They're trying to create pressure as far as away as possible from you for a reason. Alright, there's the wave. Tristana's top lane. I don't... Okay, there's one member. Until I see... Okay, I see the other members now. So now we're good to go ahead and try and brawl and duke it out with this Lee Sin. Gonna go ahead and get rid of his Bloodthirster there. And we're gonna try and charge in. Look at that damage off my W there. What just happened really should not have happened was the uh, Tristana getting kicked off there, or Cassiopeia. That's an easy kill for me. Just stun him up and toss my ult on him. He really didn't expect the grit, the damage Gragas outputs, so easy pickup for me. There's a tower, there's one. Gonna go ahead and just aggro this wave here. Pull in, body slam it, clear that out. And. They are actually losing a fight in the mid lane here, so maybe I can converge over and try and pick up a kill here. I don't have my ult, which is really... it sucks, but what can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and try and assassinate this Thresh here. Maybe toss a Q and pick him up there. Uh, didn't do just enough damage, but it was close. And now we're just kind of being a bully. I can kill anyone as long as I don't get locked down. And they all know it too. So, just doing my best to not die here. That's always a good plan. And we'll try and get this wave. There's most of it. I have decent wards still, so I can see if I'm getting ganked here. I saw someone up there, so I'm going to go ahead and body slam this way. Dodge out on that Tristana. And I'm going to have to flash this wall, actually. If I can. That was pretty dumb of me, honestly. Damn. Uh... Yeah, that was just dumb. That was just dumb. Alright, we'll sell this Doran's Ring and we'll pick up the Giant's Belt. Now I have both components of Rando and Zoman. That's pretty big for me. Oh, nice sidestep there. That would have been your death otherwise. TP and 50. Oh, the Thresh battles in the middle. Oh, we should not be there at all. <laughs> I'm not alive. There's, yeah, there's no reason for us to fight. Damn. I think... What's my body slam up? I think I should have body slammed flashed over a wall, but I don't know. I, I just waited to use my summoner spell. I could have easily and should have got out of there, but I suck. So I don't have enough money just yet for my random ones. It's about 150 off, so I'm going to pick up a Elixir of Fortitude. Give me some more ability power and CDR for this late game team fight here, because honestly, the next fight probably will be the game if one team gets aced. So, TP is up, you all go top. So, I'm telling them to go as far as away as possible from me to create pressure. That way I can solo anyone. I can still solo Lee Sin without an issue here. So, as long as they create pressure on that top lane, I can force one, maybe two people down here. And if it's 1v1, I'm going to kill that person. So, we're just creating pressure. Not a big deal here. Lee Sin preemptively already shoved out the wave to try and uh, thwart my efforts, but it won't be enough out of this Lee Sin. I see Thresh, so I gotta respect that. And we'll actually drop the ward down here just to see if he does choose to come. I have multiple people coming at me here, so we're good. Might have to zone use here. All right, we're fine. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and all, all of them back into the turret here, and this is gonna be big for us. Gonna go ahead and three man knock up into a barrel combo. Look at that, the Dunk Squad coming in. And I'm gonna teleport back to save this mid lane here. 
Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What an ultimate. That just damn near won us some huge map pressure. That teleport, it wasn't like bad, but it wasn't the greatest teleport either. It just stopped her from potentially taking the inhib turret. But we might net a top turret off of that because of that uh, three members off the map for us. Ooh, he's gonna die here. Unless he can get out. Go to the minion wave. Uh, dunk squad, see ya. All right, so we don't get anything off of it, but we definitely, we're taking some gold off of them. And we do just get a relief of the press that they were applying to us. All right, so I bought two wards as well, just so I can kind of ward my way up here and be safe when we are attempting to split push. So I'm going to try and get these pretty deep into their team. Yeah, let's team push. Yeah, definitely should have done that. So I wasn't too afraid when they initially went pretty hard for me. That Thresh Pop is Talisman of Ascension and whatnot. And I knew he had Xin Zhao as well as Lee Sin, but I knew I had backup, be it the uh, Tristana as well as Thresh. So I just played it cool, popped my Zonius to avoid the initial CC, and then threw him all into the turret there. All right, Lucian might be playing with fire here. I don't connect the, uh, <laughs> he messed up there. So, oh, that's Lee Sin. I might have messed up. I'm gonna go ahead and just zone this here. I'm gonna try and combo onto this Lucian. I missed it. Oh my god. I'm AFK. Okay. Alright, I'm actually out. So, the fact that I'm gonna be able to live here is super big. So, they had two of them chasing me, and I do escape because I freaking failed. What? I might have spoke too soon. Am I out? I'm gonna go ahead and try and slow. No, I'm not out. I have random ones. I'm dead. But yeah, we could take stuff while three are on me. Please. Like, there's so much that team could have been doing right there. And now, Thresh is gonna get one shot. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Holy shit, she's 14 and 2. I know who I'm gonna one shot now. Cass isn't grouping with us, yeah. Now they're probably gonna take Baron because they got two free kills and we didn't do anything for it. Like, so unfortunate. More than likely that's gone. I don't think we can stop it unless we can just get the miracle seal. Place another ward. Don't get grabbed. Okay, you could steal this. I believe. I believe, man. Oh, we got flayed. What a good flay by Thresh stopping the. Uh, you know, the steal, that word, yeah. So now they got Baron, and they're gonna probably win in the next couple team fights here. They got caught again. Oh, that's not good. Alright, we do have fantastic wave clear, so it's gonna be still pretty hard for them to try and get in on us. If that hit, oh god, we can kill him. Nice, that's so big that we got that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my ult, execute him there. What a great hook to kind of neutralize the objectives that they just took there. It's gonna go ahead and slam on this thresh, trying to do any damage here. Oh, we got him! Nice. So we take one and we hit Lisa, whoever you are. What? She killed Thresh again. Don't chase. We have to stop their push here, but not bad. We took Baron off of two of them for free, pretty much, just because of that thresh. So. Definitely could be in a worse situation right now. And now we just have to defend while we... Oh, don't die, don't die. Okay, we're good. Don't have my ult up, so I can't 100% this Tristana just yet. But damn near close to being able to. Gonna go ahead and out of the siege with that Lich Ban proc here. And boom, there goes the wave. See you later. And next item up, we'll get a death cap here. I said don't go for damage items, but I feel like I need to just 100% just on it. No questions asked, so that death cap will definitely allow me to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my W here, and then we'll get the Lich Bane proc, and there goes the white camp. See you later. Lee Sin is in the bot lane here. I think I can beat him here, so I'm gonna try. I snuck in the bush, and he doesn't know it. But then again, I don't know where any of them are, so... Yeah, whoever pinged me back is is a smart man. Gonna go ahead and just 
clear out most of the wave here, thin it out, and now we have our siege wave here. So that's good for us. Yeah, if we if we group as five or have me split push and they go as four, it'll definitely be really good for us here. And I pick up another blue elixir here. And now I'll go bot. I have TP, letting my team know I have TP. So hopefully we don't get caught out here. Good damage. Gonna just try and force the issue here. Season Zhao actually, let's collapse on this kid. This is a free catch if we can get him. Nope, he's out. And now my team might be a little compromised. Nope, we're good. And Cassiopeia, nice flash. But uh, I think she's still potentially dead here. I'm gonna have to teleport in. Looks like they were trying to advance. This could be a really strong teleport, actually. Gonna go ahead and knock up the Xin Zhao here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw my ult and just kill the Tristana there. That was big that she actually got caught out and did pay for it with her life. And we are cleaning up house right now. Gonna go ahead and just dash in. Try and. Uh, I don't have enough. The talisman's too much for us, but that was really big that we got a three for one? Yes, three for one. So I think we can actually take an inhibitor here, if not inhib. So that was absolutely huge. Nice teleport again. They really didn't react well to my teleport, honestly. They kind of just died to it. I'll tank it all. I don't care. All we need to do is just get this tower. We have a whole wave coming right next to this. Oh, what a catch. There's a kill on the Thresh. I have Zonia's. Gonna go ahead and pop Zonia so I don't die. And I think that actually just killed... He just... <laughs> Whatever. Should be able to take this turret here. Got my Lich Bane going on it. And we'll... Rage up. Boom. See a tower. And I think we can get this. It might be a little greedy, but we might be able to get it. Depending on my Lich Bane procs. No, we can't get it. Too greedy. Yep, just gonna go ahead and go back. Oh, shit. I think I could kill this guy. Actually. No, I can't, because I'm dead. Oh, if I didn't drink right there, like, I didn't see Tristan. I should have saw her, but if I didn't drink right there, <coughs> excuse me, I could have just ulted and then body slammed away. But I was in the process of drinking, and that actually got me killed. So don't drink and fight, kids. That's the lesson of this video. So now I'm huge. I'm six items. I'm going to actually... Get the enchantment here. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I'm gonna go distortion because that'll pull up my flash as well as TP up sooner here. So as later the game goes, the better that'll actually be because teleport and flash are huge in the late game here. So now I'm six build, six item build, almost 660 AP. Just gonna be able to one shot Tristan. She doesn't have any MR on her, so she's super squish. And Baron up in a minute 40, so just about when my teleport will be up. It'll be up about a minute after that spawn, so we'll see if I can just create some pressure in the bot lane before Baron spawns here. And it's looking good for us right now. 38 to 34, still a really close game, but a lot of their gold is actually on that Tristana, so if we can just blow her up, it'll be very, very good for us. Coming bot lane here, unless they shove four people mid, five people mid, which it looks like they will. Nice lantern out. That'll uh, secure us a body there, or else you were gonna be dead. I'm gonna go ahead and try and flash in on this Tristana here. I know Lucian's not with him, so we'll see if we can... Ah, oh, Lucian just instantly kicks me out. Smart man. I want to get in on their back line here, but they're just... They have a really nice front line right now with Lucian, but we didn't lose anyone, so that's the benefit right there. I still really want to flash in here with my body slam here and pick up a kill. Alright, after Zonia's right away or else I die, I'm going to go ahead and just ult right away, get a lot of damage off on them. And I got a flash as well or else I would have died. But it looks like we pick up two and that's going to give resets to the people that needed them here, be it the Tristana. And I think that's a Baron for us right now. If we, if we don't play it wrong, this is a free Baron. Oh, that was an awkward little step there and you're gonna get assassinated okay we trade one for one AP Trist is off the map oh and Lucian died that's an inhib maybe even the game here so really good job out of the team there getting that kill eh, you know whatever 
our Tristana jumped in, baited their Tristana in. But luckily, we killed the Tristana before she got a reset and got out. But because of that human sacrifice, I think that'll actually be able to be the game for us here. Not sure why Cass backed. I think we could have ended the game had she stayed with us. But uh, she's no longer with us. Rip. Nice. I popped his bubble, and then Thresh got a really nice hook on him, so... That is going to be just pressure on the map, if not just killing him. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop that guy. And they're respawning now, so rip, you're dead. I just got to get out of here, because Lee Sin more than likely, unfortunately, is dead. Going to drop a ward behind me. And no way. No way, Jose. <coughs> Excuse me, he is out of there. Nicely done. Oh my goodness. So I get to go back. Pick up both my pots here, and we have TP on us, so that's really big for us. And we got that mid wave full of supers now that we can work with. Nice, super nice. So I can teleport in there if they stop it. Oh, just live. No, he missed. Oh my god, he got the kill. That Thresh is a god. He, he dies for it, but he's a god. So I. Ooh, that ward. That ward, I could potentially teleport to that oh we got this I'm teleporting to it right now before they kill it making it immune and then that'll uh, allow me to go in and stop their barren efforts here so that was nice <laughs> made them all run off of it and they all took a bunch of damage so the fact that we stopped that Baron just with me teleporting in super big and now we might have just cut out the uh, I missed Oh my god, shoot me, please. I think she's still dead, lucky for us. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the barrel in. I think that slowed. If it did, yep, she's dead. Okay, not bad. Did miss the alto, but we get the dunk on Tristana, so that's huge. I don't think we can do this. Maybe we can, but uh, I don't see the reason to do it. But YOLO, because why not? Okay, I mean, we could do it, yeah, 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 we could do it. I just don't want them to steal it, because we don't have the guarantee of the kill with Smite. But it is getting shredded by the Leandries here, so I guess we'll just pick it up here. And I have no reason. I was actually going to go top and clear that wave, but I have no reason to clear that wave, because... Oh my god, I got it with a body slam. Thank god I was paying attention. Our cast <laughs> stopped DPS on the Baron to go get that wave. I was about to body slam over the wall. And Lucian would have stole it, but I heard a flash. I was like, no one on my team would have just flashed. And instead of body slamming over the wall, I body slammed Baron. Thank God. Oh my goodness. So now Lucian doesn't have flash. That's huge. Like, this next team fight, he can just die. Like, no flash, rip. Oh my God. <laughs> we almost just threw so hard there. What a stupid game. I'm 13, 4, and 19. Pretty good game so far. Some whiff ults that make me look like a noob. A noob, but I am a noob, so whatever. I'm baiting. I'm a god right here. Look at this bait. Gonna go ahead and bait them all in to our team here. We got the recent helping me out here. The Goon Squad. Gonna pop a Randy's and Zonia's. I just absorbed all of Tristana's ult with that Zonia's. Absolutely fan freaking tastic. Get destroyed. That's gonna be the game right there. I don't see what they can do to stop us from winning right now. I do have flash available, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is flash into a body slam, guarantee the knockup on Lee Sin, and pick him up there. That's going to be the game. Only one alive is Lucian, and he doesn't have flash, because you know why? He used it in attempt. Oh, Surrender came out. What a good game, man. That was intense all the way through, but lucky we got pretty fed and we're able to pretty hard to carry that game so if you like the video go and throw a like i'll have all my other social media such as twitch twitter and facebook as well as new masteries in the info box below and as always guys i'll see you all next time